So here we have our executive summary. Okay. And um, if you want to just skim through it, it's not like whatever you want to critique and add and tell us yeah. how, like we should do or we shouldn't do. Yeah. And um, we'll open doors for it. Like okay. Open, yeah, so this is essentially policy. like is your story here at the top. Yeah. The executive yeah. summary. Exactly. Okay. Here to buy. Okay. As a corporation, are you familiar what a corporation is? Not exactly. So with corporation, you can uh, you can write off a lot of stuff, but it takes a lot more, I guess, um, influx into the business. So it's usually best for people who have a lot of capital to start as a corporation. Okay. Simply because uh, everything that you have will be write, written in like in corporation. Long story short, that just means like, as I write something in corporation, it has the ability to be kind of uh, audited a little bit more. If you don't have a lot of capital going into something, I would suggest starting as a sole proprietor okay. or a business partnership, which can give you a little bit more tax breaks. But if you have a lot of capital to work with and you're rolling with that capital, 100%, you could go into a corporation. You get more tax benefits out of a corporation, but it's a lot more work. Like you gotta really, you know. Um, Accounting has yeah, to be a part. Yes, exactly. Okay, as okay. opposed to a business yeah. partnership or right. sole proprietorship? Right. Okay, yeah. that's probably that's yeah, what that's we're gonna good. go into. Yeah, that's right, good. I'm gonna put down. Yeah, I didn't even, I was supposed to yeah. bring my laptop. Yeah, no worries. Or a sole proprietor, you guys, if you have two sole proprietors and have the same name. How Best does that thing. Work? So, a sole proprietorship is just essentially you owning your own business. Um, you get a lot more tax breaks and you don't have to be as intense with your uh, accounting or your bookkeeping, essentially. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it might be a little bit different because you guys are going business partnership. Right. So. so I think these are very similar. You'll have to go double check with the city of Edmonton, like the business advisory board, when you go to actually register your business. Because you have to register your business, right, before you can start going. And then once you've made a certain amount of income, uh, at that point now you have to start charging GST. But not until that point. Like there's no point in getting a GST number unless you're making right. a decent amount of coin. Yes? Because you've been paying yeah. money up. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you to open that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, then that's something. Okay. Okay, so a lot of these are kind of just like what we got written here is more of a, I wouldn't necessarily call it a business proposal. What I would call this is more of a uh, business design or business project. You know what I mean? Like a brainstorm business project from what I can see here. Right, and that's good. This is the. This is definitely the foundation of starting right, something. Right, right. For you sure, hundred percent. Yeah. In place. But similar uh, information or business advisor that I'll give to other uh, business partnerships that I agree upon or I work with. Um, a lot of these statements are good statements, but you want to really break them down and be more in depth. If sh that's exactly right. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to. Yeah. Because they're just really vague and yeah. open-ended general. Right. Because I mean, critical thinking. What does critical thinking mean to your company? Right. Okay. okay. Uh, optimal movement. What does optimal movement mean to your to our specific yes, your philosophy, your specifics? Okay, the specific. Right. Okay. We need to be more specific with our answers. Right. To ourselves. Because yeah, I know what you're saying. We're saying right. just general, open-ended answers. Right. Like most cliche. No, but this is really good because most people won't even do this. They'll just okay. kind of wing it, right? They just get into business. They start throwing out marketing strategies. They don't have. Uh, yeah, they don't have a goal. This is like a goal paper. This is yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's good. Out. Yeah. So same thing here, like pricing strategy, package plans. You guys are going to be splitting profits. So have you thought about uh, how you're going to be doing that? Or are you guys just getting your own clientele and you're taking what you get? Exactly. And oh, then okay. we're, but in the same token, we're going to take a percentage out of whatever we make. Yeah. And create a business account. Right. And that money will go into that business okay. account. Fair enough. So like we say we get a client and we're giving... I think pretty sure we were gonna do like 35% of yeah. whatever we get. Yeah. We just take that and put it in that account and okay. then the rest you could do yeah. to yourself. Whatever. Yeah. Now one thing I will suggest to you, uh, definitely get a good account and I have one that I really trust. Okay. And um, you're gonna have to write yourself out uh, paychecks, which can be very confusing. That's why I said go talk to an accountant. You'll wanna get a checking account with literally having like physical checks and you have to write yourself out payment plans or the government will hit you. 
okay? So keep that in mind. Because if you are just kind of picking and choosing how you're pulling money out of that, that's what I did. I made a mistake like that because I was just going with the flow. And if I had money, I had money and I used it type deal, right? Okay. Uh, you'll want to write out your uh, checks to yourself. So have your business name on your checks. Okay. And then you write it out personally to Alan George or Trayvon Lewis, yes? To save myself. Just issues with the government. If you're claiming your stuff, obviously, right? Right, right, yeah. right, right. Okay. So are you familiar, it says capital requirements, that's good. Are you familiar uh, what type of permits, licensing, and insurance you need? Because um, he has his accreditation as, a, as an actual uh, registered personal trainer now, right, right? Right, right. You still have to get that. So have you looked at uh, what route to go with that? To get my, you mean just to get my uh, trainer's certificate? Oh yeah, yeah. I just need to take an exam. Okay. I already took the the, the camp for nice. the weekend course. Nice, good. So all I need to, I just have to book a date yeah. for an exam, and I can go and take it. Yeah. But th what I wanted to ask specifically with this, yeah, uh, outside of my own license, like accreditation, what, um. Like, I know I have to get insurance with the gyms. So if so, you decided like, to go the route that I'm going, where right. you're an external trainer's permit, that's to the city of Edmonton again. Okay. External you would just come here permit. and ask them and be like, hey, I mean, I'm a registered trainer and I would like to train clients out of the city of Edmonton facilities. What is my next step? And they'll say, okay, we have to sign an external trainer's per permit agreement. And they'll take care of you here. This is the place you would come to take care of it. Okay. Here okay. at Kinsman. Pay for it, everything yeah. here. And yeah. then other permits that like I may not know that I may have to get. Is Business anything? license, for right. sure. That one I yeah. yeah, and the first time you open it up, it's pretty expensive. You have to get your CPR. Oh, that I have yeah. already, yeah. Uh, and then with CanFit Pro, just like any other personal trainer company or personal trainer accreditation. Uh, Continuing yes. education. Yes, yeah. continue education yeah. credits. And you have to pay for your membership every year. Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, so definitely. you're looking at business expenses alone per year, at least $1,000. Yes. Okay? Know, yeah. All right. Okay. okay, so we'll keep going. Hold on a second.